हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर यवला टुडे विल स्टडी अ टॉपिक बेस्ड ऑन सब्जेक्ट मैकेट्रॉनिक्स द नेम ऑफ टॉपिक इज प्रैक्टिकल टाइमर्स एंड काउंटर्स यूज्ड इन पीएलसी प्रोग्रामिंग सो वॉट इज पी एल सी टाइमर फंक्शन लेट्स स्टडी द प्रोग्राम टाइमर फंक्शन प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टंट रोल इन पी एल सी एप्लिकेशन्स टू प्रोवाइड फॉर नीडेड डिलेज इन सम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिक्वेंस एंड टू स्पेसिफाई द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दैट सम ऑपरेशन इज टू लास्ट सो वट इज यूज ऑफ पी एल सी टाइमर इट इज यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग सम डिलेज इन सम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिक्वेंस सपोज यू आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एनी प्रोडक्ट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट सम डिले इन एनी ऑपरेशन एट द टाइम वी नीड पी एल सी टाइमर एंड टू स्पेसिफाई पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दैट सम ऑपरेशन इज लास्ट so for example suppose any operation is being performed if you want to continue that operation for some time period extra time period at the time also we can use plc timer so plc timer has two uses one is we can uh, give delay in any operation to start or we can delay any operation which is already started we can delay its stop to some time period okay so this is plc timer function so while activated by a true path the timer begins to accumulate time in the form of ticks so timer has some clock type uh, device so it accumulates time in the form of ticks one tick two tick three tick okay so like this ticks are recorded each tick is worth a certain amount of time so each tick has some amount of time okay so the timer is preloaded with a certain number of these ticks so already the timer is preloaded with certain number of these ticks means we are going to give some preset value and according to that timer will be preloaded with certain number of ticks when the accumulated timer ticks equals the preload value the timer itself becomes true okay so we are going to set some preload value and when timer starts accumulated time ticks equals the preload value means when the preset value equals to the accumulated value then the timer itself becomes true okay so timer becomes true the timer only counts while it has a true input okay so timer timer has one input if input is true at the time only timer starts counting if the input becomes false and then true again the timer will reset to zero and start start to count again okay so you understand this if input becomes false okay what happens the timer is reset to zero okay and again true condition is there at the time it starts to counting again so this is the plc timer function now we'll see the diagram of plc timer function so you can see here this is the plc timer box is there it is provided over here okay this is the input to this plc timer and en is the condition and dn is also one condition okay and inside that box some values are shown to you some functions are shown to you okay and here it is output light should be on okay and here dn is provided so similar contact is provided over here dn okay this is the plc timer function so let's discuss so what happens here now let's understand what is dn okay so dn is nothing but a bit that goes true when the timer is done in other words when the count gets to preset value okay suppose we have a preset value our preset value is 500 in this case now you can you check here preset value is 500 suppose that count is done completely done at that time dn gets on okay at that time dn will get on mean means preset value is completed at that time dn gets on second now t has to 1 what is t has to 1 it is actually timer address okay so timer address it consists of three addresses in the ram okay so first address is the status bits of en tt and dn so all these are different lines are there or line uh, signals are there so their status is holds by this timer address okay then it also addresses holds the preset value it also holds the preset value as well as accumulated value so all these three values are hold by this timer address okay so what is the function of this t has to 
it holds different types of values okay next is time base what is time base time base is time base value is given here 0.01 okay so time base here it is 0.01 it means that each count corresponds to 0.01 seconds each count corresponds to 0.01 seconds now preset value is 500 over here preset is 500 the value 500 means that delay will last 500 counts okay which in this case is 5 seconds so 0 0.01 into 500 it is 5 seconds so total time delay is here 5 seconds okay so total time delay in this case is 5 seconds 500 into 0 0.01 so suppose if time base is 1 suppose if time base is 1 what will happen if preset value is 500 then it will last for 500 seconds okay now here preset is 500 but time base is 0 0.01 that's why we have to multiply both the things we will get 5 second preset value now accumulator accumulator is nothing but it holds the value of the current count so how many counts are done 0 1 2 3 4 5 like this it accumulates counts okay and last is en so en is shown over here en okay so what is the use of en a bit that is true as long as the timer rung is true okay so when this rung is true at the time this is also true up to the point when the timer is on at the time en is also on okay so like this timer works so when the timer completed means accumulated value is completed at the time this dn gets on whatever dn is there dn dn is activated and at the time this contact which is related to dn it gets closed and light gets on okay so you so this you should remember okay now we'll study plc counter function a counter is a program function that counts or increments every time the input changes from false to true okay so when input changes from false to true so this is one count okay so like this how many times input changes from false to true at the time the counts are incremented okay so if in one scan the input is false and in the next stand the input is true the counter increments okay means what you have to remember false is converted to true at that time count is one okay in the next time again when false is come to two then your count is two okay so like this we have to remember so until the input goes false again and then true again there is no further count will occur means this condition is very important false gets converted into true okay the counter has an address and preset number of counts okay when the preset number of counts have been accumulated the counter becomes true and can activate some other part of the ladder diagram okay so it here also some preset value is there and some accumulated value is there so when both the values are equal at that time what happens the condition becomes true and it can activate some other part of the ladder program okay so this is plc counter program So let's study now PLC counter function, how it works. So it consists of again one input switch. So here this is input switch. This is count up box. Okay. And it has two outputs means EN and DN. Okay. So what is C has to one in the counter. Okay. C has to one. It is again same as that of timer. So it address it holds some addresses okay of such as cu and dn bit cu and dn bit then it holds, then it holds preset value and accumulated value okay so like this so now what is preset so preset is when the counter gets to the preset value it makes the dn bit to true and keeps on counting okay an accumulator it holds the value of the current count so here preset and accumulator is shown what is en en goes true when counter rung is true when counter rung is true at the time en goes true and what is dn when accumulated value is equal to preset value at the time dn activates and this dn contact gets closed and will light will get on okay and there is extra line is shown here reset if you want to reset the counter at the time you have to 
close this contact and your counter will get reset so like this these are functions in plc counter so now let's study one example based on this so what is example written here design and write letter logic for a simple traffic light controller for following sequence of operation as below so what is step one turn green light on for 35 seconds turn yellow one on for 5 seconds and red two on for 40 seconds so like this everywhere you can see for each and every light some timer is given okay some time function is given so we'll see ladder diagram now so here in this case you can see on output module this is output module so there are three lights are shown this is green yellow and red so like this there are three outputs are shown and one relay coil is used over here okay like this these are outputs similarly inputs are shown over here only two inputs are there one is push button switch and second one is close push button push button switch like this two push buttons are used over here so now suppose this is input one input one is closed what will happen the supply can go like this so relay coil will get activated and like this relay contacts will be closed so this contact will get closed and this is this will also get closed both are related to relay coil number one and supply can go like this okay and timer will get on and this en also gets activated at the same time now when the preset value gets accumulated value same here what will happen dn will get activated and at that time what will happen this dn number bit whatever dn is there so this bit will get closed actually this is the relay contact bit and supply can go like this okay so like this green light will get on okay now similarly when this relay coil is activated at that time all contacts get closed this first contact second contact third contact all contacts get closed okay now when this dn gets activated so this dn also get activated and this dn also get activated okay now this second timer gets on when this second timer gets on what happens it again starts accumulating this preset and accumulated value when these values are equal what have, what will happen this dn will get activated okay actually this is already closed this is also already closed so it will on second light that is yellow light okay output 2 output 2 is nothing but yellow light now next what will happen in the next cycle now this relay contact is already closed so because of this this is also closed because this is closed now third timer gets on and when this preset value gets accumulated at the time dn will get activated so this is already contact related, related to relay so dn will activate this dn and this is already closed that's why this output number 3 will get activated okay so last light will get also activated so like this program works so like this we can work on timer and counter so thank you so much all of you for watching this video